Hey everybody, this is Mr. Minner. And today I want to give you a tutorial on how to insert your spoken audio into your Google Slides and then be able to transfer that into a Canvas page so that your students can see the Google Slide and then they can hear your instructions or maybe you want to read something to them that's already in text. This is especially for any students who are low in reading and they need to be able to hear what's on the Google slide. Okay, so first I'm going to share my screen. And as you can tell right now I have um, created a Google slide. I'm a music teacher. So one of the songs we're going to be learning is lean on me. And I have some text here. And I want to be able to have a space right here. I want to insert an icon that the kids can click on. And then they can actually hear me reading what is in this white space. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you're on a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, um, I would go to QuickTime. So I'm going to go to my search, my little um, microscope, is it a microscope or yeah, magnifying glass, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna click for QuickTime player. And as you can see, it already comes up. And when you see it here at the top of your navigation bar, you see QuickTime player, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to create a new audio recording. So I'm gonna click that and a little box is going to show up and there's a red button here. As soon as I click that red button, it's gonna start recording. So I'm going to read what's in this white space here. So as soon as I click the red button, I'm gonna begin. So here I go. Lean On Me was written by singer and composer Bill Withers. The song is uplifting and inspiring. It reminds us to help and depend on each other in order to be the best we can be. Then I stop it. And then I'm gonna go up here to file because I want to save that recording. I'm going to save right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop. And I'm gonna give it a title. I'm going to name it Lean On Me Reading. And I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to exit out of QuickTime. Now, um, the thing is, is that when you do an audio recording with QuickTime, it saves it as an M4A file. So the best thing to do is that you want it to be an MP3 file, not an M4A file. So I'm going to go to iTunes. And I'm going to drag that file that I just recorded, which is right here. I'm going to drag it into iTunes. And there it is, Lean On Me Reading. So iTunes is going to help me convert that M4, M4A file into an MP3 file, because that's what, at least from my experience, this is what Google Slides understands. So I'm gonna click on that one time, and I'm gonna go up here to the top, and I'm gonna to go to File, and I'm gonna go down to convert. And I want to convert that file into an MP3 version. So there I go. And in my iTunes box here, it is converting that file. And when you hear that little bell, that means that it's now an MP3 file. And if you want to make sure that it is an MP3 file, as you can tell right here, the kind 
it is an MPEG. That's what you want, an MPEG audio file. So I'm just going to drag that new file that's been converted. Um, you can do it to your desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Okay. And there it is right here. Now I'm going to exit out of iTunes. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my Google Drive. Now this is very important. When I go to my Google Drive, which seems to have unlimited storage for the school that you work with, if you have a Google Drive account with your school, go to your Google Drive and I'm going to drag that new MP3 file into my Google Drive account. Okay, so this is my school account right here. So I'm going to drag that new MP3 file that I converted from iTunes. I'm going to drag it into, um, if it lets me, let's see. I'm going to drag it in there. There we go. I'm going to drag it right there on top of everything else. And it should be, yes, it's uploading to there. There it is, Lean On Me Reading MP3, and it's complete. Now in my Google Drive, I'm going to go to Recent so that I can find my most recent upload into the drive. And here it is. We want it to look like this, the little earphones in the red box. So now I'm going to make that shareable to place into my Google Slides. Now I'm going to right click on that file that I place in my Google Drive. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on Get Link. And I'm going to go to my school district, which is Grandview C4 School District. I'm going to click on this little triangle so that I can have other options. And I'm going to click on anyone with the link. That means that anyone who has that link can hear that audio file that I made. I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Slides. And I want to put that file in this area so the kids know that they can hear me read what I have in this white box, okay? So I'm gonna go over here at the top to insert audio. And it's gonna take me to my drive. And I'm gonna click most recent. And I believe this is it. The lean on me reading I'm going to click that and select. And it's going to turn into a little, what do you call that? Um, a speaker of some sort. And you can resize it. You can make it as big as you want. But I want to drag it and place it right here in this space that's going to be read to them. So when I click on it, or when I hover over it, I can click play and I'm gonna to listen to what I recorded. Lean On Me was written by singer and composer Bill Withers. The song is uplifting and inspiring. It reminds us to help and depend on each other in order to be the best we can be. Okay, so it's there. And now, I want to be able to place this into Canvas. So what you would do is that you would go to File and you would go down to Publish to the Web. And when I click that, I'm going to go over here and click on Embed. I do not want a link. 
I want it to be embedded so that the kids don't have to go outside of Canvas. So they go, go to embed, and you're going to copy this whole area right here that you see, it says press Command C to copy. So I'm going to place my fingers on Command and C. It's now ready to be copied to another place. So I'm gonna go here to my Canvas page. Okay, now normally I would go to, let's view all pages. And I'm gonna create a new page. And I'm going to name it Lean On Me. And I think there's been an update with Canvas. There used to be a, a toggle to go back and forth from the rich content editor to a embedding link or an embedding uh, tab that would come up. But now it's down here at the bottom. It looks like a less than slash greater than sign. So I'm gonna click down here on this area and it's gonna turn into an embedding space. And I'm going to click Command V, which is going to paste that embedded link there. There it is. And I'm going to click Save and Publish. Now it says on my page, Lean On Me Too, because I've already done this. So this is the second page. But for, for you, it would be just whatever you titled it. And so when the kids click on this, if they want to hear me read this text, they would click on the speaker. They would click play. Lean On Me was written by singer and composer Bill Withers. The song is uplifting and inspiring. It reminds us to help and depend on each other in order to be the best we can be. So see how that works? I mean, that works absolutely fantastic. So when, when the kids are at home and they're by themselves, the text can be read to them. And you could use this in any way. If you want to give instructions about anything on any of your slides, be sure to go through the process that I just went through with you and you should have success with placing or inserting your spoken audio into a specific text you want to read to the kids or just giving instructions. You can have a, um, some words written below that speaker to say, click on this to hear the instructions and the kids can listen to what you have to say on each slide. Now remember, the kids have to be able to hover over it and click on it, it won't just automatically play. So they have to know to click on it to be able to hear it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and um, I appreciate you for listening and thank you so much.